told the truth and who didn't on stage tonight. There are a lot of claims to fact check. Jason Puckett verifies. Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris took to the debate stage Wednesday for the first and only vice presidential debate of this election. Now, right now, we're breaking down one claim from each. Here's Kamala Harris. Do you know this administration took the word science off the website and then took the phrase climate change off the website? This claim is true, but needs context. A study by the Environmental Data and Governance Initiative tracked government websites and found many agencies like the EPA removed and changed parts of their websites during the Trump admin. These changes included the removal and, quote, overhaul of climate change sections of sites, including the EPA, WhiteHouse.gov, Department of State, and the Department of Energy. Now, it's true that mentions of climate change were removed from those sites, but not all government websites have had the words removed. Climate.gov and cleannet.org are both government sites that have collections about climate change still on their websites right now. Here's Mike Pence. When Joe Biden was vice president of the United States, not seven and a half million people contracted the swine flu. 60 million Americans contracted the swine flu. This claim is true, but needs context. The CDC estimates for swine flu do show between 40 to 90 million estimated cases in the U.S. between 2009 and 2010. So far, we have roughly 7.5 million confirmed COVID cases in the U.S. It is important to point out that this is not the same time period since COVID has not been around for a year yet. All right, so 